Okay. So, question four. A nice inequalities question. Nice, hopefully, a nice easy four marks. Although people tend to make mistakes on the second one because they don't kind of read the question properly. It says n is an integer, so write down all the possible values of n. Well, we need to know that this one, this extra little line, means we're allowed minus three because it doesn't have it here. We're not allowed two. So we're allowed minus three, minus two, minus one, naught, and one. We're not allowed two. They're all the integers between all the whole numbers. Okay. Easy two marks, I think, there. Except we've got to remember you're allowed to take the left hand end because of the extra little line, but not the two. Now we need to write down something that looks like that, but that's what an inequality is, but we need it for these numbers here. So we're going to have an n in the middle, we'll have these either side, and we know it's going to go from minus 1 to 3. Oops. But we need to know what this means. Well, if it's filled in, well, it means we're allowed it, a bit like the minus 3. Next little line there, we're allowed to take 3. If it's empty, we're not allowed to take 1. So we are allowed to take 3, we're allowed to take 2, we're allowed to take 1, we're allowed to take 0. In fact, because it doesn't say it's an integer now, we're allowed to take all these, we'll add minus a half, minus three quarters, minus 0 0.9, and all that stuff, up to 1, but not actually allowed 1. Two marks, easy.